Gifts of the American earth seemed boundless and inexhaustible. They were the substance of our strength and the landscape of our aspiration. Their immensity and mystery were a challenge to us. We tested ourselves against them. We chopped and plowed our way across the land, 3,000 miles to the rim of the Pacific. In 250 years, we subdued a continent created by the ages. The land was our capital. To feed our brawling growth, we tore into the forests, mined the mountains, plowed the western plains, harnessed the rivers. Good men, good money. Make it today, to hell with tomorrow. Our cities, uncontrolled and unplanned, began to melt one into the other. We raced from the age of development into the age of anxiety. More people, more concrete, more traffic. We achieved a kind of greatness, but at what a cost. Just as the American dream seemed within reach, we found the limits of the American earth. Now, every major American city is afflicted with air pollution. Every major American river system has poison in it. A third of our fresh water lakes are filthy. So heavy is the air's cargo of dirt that the cleansing winds of North America are contaminated. The land is our mother, the Iroquois said. There is no land like our land. The land is our mother, the Crow chief said. Everything good is to be found there. I once loved a valley green and wide. I once loved a stream I sat beside. 